we started a bit about uh, JavaScript, right? So in the previous video, we learned about alert and how to open the developer mode, which was in the mode tools, developer tools, and it opens a uh, uh, script. Yeah. So this was what we had. If we are to this. Uh, okay, great. Now there is something I need to talk about, which is going to be okay, yeah, which is going to be uh, data types. So basically, what are data types? So you can see that programming language is basically what written in the English alphabets, right? This is also an English word. This is also an English word. But how do the computer differentiate between them? Between them because of this thing, uh, the quotation marks. And inside the quotation mark, whatever we put, that is printed. So when we use a quotation mark, and if we type something like anything, I can have more things, more things, more things, more things. All this would be printed because this is what this is string. Okay, now this is string. Now you might be wondering why it is called string. So it is called string because you know it's a string of characters or words. So that's why it is called strings. And then this is the how we put comment just so you know. And then there are two other data types one is number and one is boolean. So number we know what is number I can just simply write alert 3 so if I do this again it has printed this and it has printed 3 okay now you might be wondering what is this 3 so this 3 is a data type called a number okay now suppose I write type of And then you can see that here we get at it is a number. You can write it in the console so you don't have to run it every time. Okay, my bad. Type of 3. See, it is a number. The boolean is basically whether something is true or false. Okay, so those two are special words true and false. I mean, suppose I write true here, it says it is boolean. Okay great now from here we come on to something called variables now what are variables so you know we can commit pieces of data to the memory of the computer but first we need to enable the user to you know store it somewhere so suppose 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 I have okay let's do one thing let's learn another thing which is called prompt and I just type what is your name okay and if I press this it gives me a prompt box which is similar to alert but here we can save our data somewhere now here I can just write my own name Shubham and if I click on OK, nothing happened. Where does it go? Like it is there in the console, but where did the data go? It just vanished in the air. So in order to save such data, we use something called variable. Okay. So how do we do that exactly? Is we write where number works works now where is a keyword just like alert so let me just give you a analogy with a box suppose if I write where it creates me a box all right then I give it a name for the box which is number so I know okay I have a box which is declared by variable uh, where 
and then its name is number and I put in some data inside it which is C okay you understood it we created a box by calling where we gave it a name called number and inside it there is a data 3 now suppose there are 10 boxes like this and if I pick a random box and I just see the name that okay its name is number so what it by it is containing a number 3 right when this control enter nothing would happen here but now if I go into my console and if I write something called number it shows me the value inside it pretty good right great similarly you can perform other operations here like okay where let's say where number one is equal to three we say where number two is equal to four and where number three is equal to number one number two okay again press control enter and the code finishes because we don't have to print anything now here i can just simply say number three and its answer is seven which is the one which we want number three is number one plus number two which is seven right great nice nice one similarly we can put it in a alert like alert we can say number one plus number two. I again hear it and the alert shows me that the value is seven. Great. Now you can take the input from the user as well. So this is a task for you. Get two inputs from the user, two numbers, add them, store them in somewhere or just print it using alert. So I hope you remember how we take the <coughs> you num uh, I mean uh, input from the user we use prompt let's say where n1 is equal to prompt let's say enter first number okay let's call n2 let's call okay and then what we'll do we'll call where or let's just you know simply alert n1 plus n2 so the, what it is doing it is taking the value of whatever we will gonna put in the prompt box and it is going to add them and it is going to print it let's see if it works so it asked me for the first number i'll just say one it asked me for the second number i'll just say two and Oh, okay, my bad. I just remember that uh, var, basically whatever it is taking, I mean inside the prompt, it is supposed to be a string. So what is happening here is, it is doing this thing. One, two. So obviously the output here would be 12 if you add two strings it is going to be like this now we can do one thing we can change string to a number in javascript now uh, uh, there are many methods let's see which one we can work on you can just have number okay so let's do one thing let's call something number okay now let's hope it works let's say one let's say two great it works okay so you understood i even i just brushed up my memory here that the prompt takes only the string inputs but if we change it into the number we can you know treat them as numbers and you know simply add them like 
one plus two three like this okay great so i hope you remembered something you hope i mean with the last example we learned about you know in depth about data types okay it was just like a revision for us and then we also learned about the variables so i hope this javascript um, playlist uh, is like going fine with you because it is a very 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 uh, intuitive thing and a very exciting thing okay so just stay tuned and there are many things to come in the future videos so thank you and see you later